This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for June 25th, 2024. Your daily music headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Dual citizen Alanis Morissette sang both anthems last night at Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final, performing O Canada and the Star Spangled Banner ahead of the historic game that saw the Florida Panthers winning the Stanley Cup. Snoop Dogg has run a 200-meter race in the United States' team trials for the 2024 Summer Olympics. The race was a mock trial with Snoop joining the run for fun up against four-time Olympic medalist Edo Bolden and 200-meter specialist Wallace Spearman. Bolden clocked in at 16.90 seconds. Snoop finished the race in 34.44 seconds, saying, quote, for a 52-year-old, ain't bad. Season three of The Bear is being released a day earlier than planned. The award-winning kitchen drama, originally due to premiere on Hulu and FX this Thursday, now, Hulu has updated the release to Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Limp Bizkit welcomed none other than Ed Sheeran on stage over the weekend during their set at the annual Pink Pop Festival in the Netherlands. Sheeran sat in on the band's cover of The Who's 1971 classic, Behind Blue Eyes. The Recording Industry Association of America has announced the filing of two copyright infringement cases, based on the mass infringement of copyrighted sound recordings copied and exploited without permission by two multi-million dollar music generation services, Suno and Udio. Founding Nirvana bassist Chris Novoselic recently kicked off his presidential campaign in Washington state and launched a new group called the Bonafide Band. According to Novoselic, running on a presidential ticket and hosting conventions are part of the requirements for his Cascade Party of Washington to be recognized by the state as a bona fide party. To get the word out, he started the bona fide band with original Screaming Trees drummer Mark Pickerel to play shows doubling as conventions. Avenge Sevenfold have two major anniversaries coming in 2025. City of Evil is turning 20 years old and Nightmare is turning 15. Zachy Vengeance saying that the band is definitely going to do something to commemorate the birthdays, saying, quote, absolutely. I think those albums are really monumental and fans have grown up with them. They've meant a certain thing to people at a certain place in their life, so I think it's important that we do something. Def Leppard guitarist Phil Collin talking about the band's latest single, Just Like 73, the track which features a guest guitar solo from Tom Morello saying that the song wasn't finished when the album Diamond Star Halos was ready to go. He said, quote, we're really thrilled with it. It actually sounds better than the stuff on Diamond Star Halos to my ears. He also said that the song has reinvigorated the band to work on more new music. Chris Daughtry talking about the progress of his recording sessions, the follow-up to their latest album, Dearly Beloved, that was released in 2021. Saying, quote, we have the first half done. I don't have an exact date, but we're looking at sometime in September to drop the first half of the record. So we're dropping it in two parts. The first part will come out sometime in September, and then we're still currently working on the second half right now. John Bon Jovi has a permanent hologram of himself at his new Nashville bar. An additional hologram unit will soon be installed to beam in his bandmates at John Bon Jovi's new bar in Nashville, dubbed JBJ's Nashville, welcoming fans to the five-story, 37,000-square-foot spectacle of live music entertainment. The virtual Bon Jovi coming courtesy of Proto Inc., who partnered with the venue and Big Plan Holdings to install a hologram unit that would beam in 4K, the namesake of the bar, John Bon Jovi, as well as surprise celebrity guests. Body Count have released their new song, Psychopath, and Ice-T was asked in a recent interview who he would like to collaborate with and if there was anyone left. Saying, quote, most of the people I'd like to work with have passed, Prince and Jimi Hendrix, but Slayer was the ultimate for me. Just being allowed to rock out with those guys on Judgment Night was a big vote for us. He continued, maybe Ozzy, because Black Sabbath were the ones that got me into metal. I think they invented metal, so yeah, Ozzy. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. 
And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 211 featuring Morgan Lander from Kitty is available now.